In this video, we will learn how to filter clonotypes based on their association with a specific antigen. We will use the Beam tutorial dataset that comes bundled with VDJ browser version 5.0 and filter for clonotypes that associate with the SARS-CoV-2 antigen. Open the dataset by clicking on the VDJ Beam tutorial shown on the browser's homepage. The clonotype views panel on the left lists all clonotypes found in the dataset sorted from most abundant to least abundant. On the right, the clonotype distribution plot is a graphical representation of the clonotype list, showing all cells grouped by clonotype ID. Each circle represents a single cell or a cell-associated 10x barcode. Larger clonotypes are in the center and smaller clonotypes are towards the periphery. First, we will color cells in the clonotype distribution plot by their SARS-CoV-2 antigen specificity scores. To do this, click on the antigen drop-down menu located at the top of the clonotype distribution plot and select SARS-CoV-2 A0201. Make sure that the color cells by drop-down menu is set to antigen specificity. As you can see, all cell barcodes are now assigned a color based on their antigen specificity scores for SARS-CoV-2. Lighter colors indicate low scores, whereas darker colors are cells with high antigen specificity scores. In this dataset, clearly there is only one large clonotype that associates strongly with the SARS-CoV-2 antigen. To save this plot for future use outside of Loop Browser, Click on the export plot and select either SVG or PNG formats. To reset the clonotype distribution plot to default settings, click on the reset button located to the right of the color cells by settings. We're only interested in clonotypes that have a high antigen specificity score for the SARS-CoV-2 antigen. So let's filter out the non-COVID clonotypes from this list. Open the filters window by clicking on the open button at the top of the clonotypes view panel. Another way to get to this window is by clicking on the filters panel at the bottom. This panel allows you to filter by antigen specificity scores and by UMI counts per antigen. All antigens provided in the feature reference CSV that was used to run Cell Ranger are listed here. Select the antigen specificity tab and scroll down to SARS-CoV-2 A0201. Use the sliding scale or manually change the lower limit to 90. Three clonotypes have passed our filter. Two of the remaining clonotypes are small with very few cells. To filter out smaller clonotypes, use the middle panel of the filter menu. Here, you can change the minimum number of cellular barcodes to 50. With these filtration criteria, we now have one remaining clonotype that associates with the SARS-CoV-2 antigen. Now let's save these filters. Click on the three dots next to the filter name. You can edit the view name to something more meaningful. For example, we will call this Jan 2023 COVID. Then click on the check mark next to the name to save. To save these settings to your VLOOP file for future use, click on the save button on the top right. You can also save to a new VLOOP file by selecting file, save as, and entering a new file name. As demonstrated in this video, with Loop VDJ browser, you can easily find clonotypes that associate with your antigen of interest without writing any complicated code or having to ask for help from a bioinformatician. In another video, we will show you how to examine and export the VDJ gene sequences of your top clonotypes. Thank you for watching.